Okay, so I am making this because I would like to talk about um, children that have um, any type of issues, uh, mainly speech delay. Um, so my five-year-old Ocean, he has a speech delay, and um, he's he's been diagnosed with it since um, two. Yeah, since he was two, they like caught it kind of early on because I kind of noticed that he was a little bit, you know, behind and stuff like that. So um, he got his IEP um, and IEP is basically um, in like layman terms. It's a, a, a doc, it's documents and it's a script to show where your child is at on a learning level when it comes to uh, different skills like cognitive skills, things like that, social skills, learning skills. Um, he got that at three and then he finally got into um, half day preschool um, or pre-K, whichever one it is, um, in Michigan. And he was doing good. He was doing really good. Um, I remember when they first, first told me when I went into the meeting once he got finished being, you know, um, assessed and everything, I actually cried in the meeting because it's very hard to listen to someone tell you um, about your child and, you know, their learning disabilities or any type of disabilities. It's very hard to listen to that about your child. And um, so I took that uh, really hard. And then... We moved to Atlanta. Um, he got assessed again while he was in uh, pre-K. I think, yeah, that's pre-K. Yeah, pre-K, right before kindergarten. And um, man, when my son first got to the school, it was rough. It, like he was giving the teachers a hard time. He had trouble with transitioning into different things. Um, he just, would, I don't know why, he just would take it hard. And it's like he understood the work is sometimes with Ocean, you have to maybe give it to him a different way for him to really get what you're trying to say. And it seems like once they learned how to communicate with him, um, everything started, you know, moving, you know, like a, with the flow. and Everything started going okay, which made me happy because I was starting to worry. I was starting to get sad again. Like, uh, my son's giving the school a hard time. You know, I don't want them to try to, like, hold him back or... Um, you know, put more on him than what he actually has. You know what I mean? So finally, he started kindergarten this year. Um, I cried for that too, that too. <laughs> and so uh, kindergarten, um, tough transition. <laughs> um, he was giving this new school a hard time because the old school didn't have kindergarten there. Uh, he went to a kinder care. Um, he went to the school that he was actually receiving speech services at for kindergarten. And um, tough time. He was giving them a very hard time, was not wanting to do the work. And then when he got his progress report, it was basically on there like he really didn't know a lot. Like he didn't know all his alphabet and stuff like that. And I'm just like, wait, bull S. <laughs> You know, he knows his alphabet. He knows how to count in Spanish to like 12. He knows how to, you know, count regularly to like 30. I'm like, you know, wait a minute. He can recognize shapes. They were trying to say he couldn't recognize all his shapes. And so it was just very hard when, you know, someone's trying to tell you what your child knows. And you're like, no, here, let me show you. Because um, I didn't want them trying to put more on him. So, like, I feel like... um I just really feel like they were trying to hold him back, me personally. Um, this is at King Springs Elementary. I feel like um, they 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 want they they said in a meeting that they wanted to have there it was going to be suggested that he go back to pre K, like as soon as possible, and then do that, and then next year try kindergarten again. And I was just looking at them like y'all done lost y'all damn mind like I, my son is not about to do all of that over again because it's not needed does he maybe need extra help yes um the do his um do you maybe need to like slow down the learning and if that causes for a special needs class that's fine 
but you're not going to send him all the way back to the beginning to start over because I'm like, I know what my child is capable of. And when you get with these school systems, they will try to tell you what your child can't do. They try to point out a whole bunch of stuff that they like can't do. And I'm just saying, don't let them do that to you. Like always get a second opinion. Now my son is in a different school. Um, he does outstanding every day. No notes home. Um, you know, not someone calling me three times a day about how Ocean's not listening or he's not doing his work or anything like that. Um, he engages with the teacher. The teacher takes um, her time with him. And the school is much better. It's Cliftondale Elementary. And I was shocked because the school got not such a good rating on like grade schools. But you check out schools for yourself instead of, you know, listening to the, uh, the you know, the great grade school rating at great school, something like that, dot org. And but um, so I just want to talk about some rules that I wanted to share um, certain stuff that I went through. So rule number one, um, if your child is, you know, diagnosed with anything, um, that, you know, maybe isn't as severe as like autism, but you know, like speech delay, make sure they get disability. Um, my son gets, you know, disability, um, every month and that helps out with extra speech therapy. It helps out with all the things that I need to, uh, buy for at home learning uh, to help him, you know, learn more and kind of have fun with it, things of that nature. Um, rule number two um, make sure they have an IEP. Uh, make sure you always get a second opinion. Don't ever like just go for what the first person tells you. Um, make sure, you know, they're not only getting uh, assessed by their teacher, but they're also getting assessed by a doctor. And then also SSI will assess them with their own doctor as well. Um, number three, um, speech therapy. A lot of, I know it costs to get extra speech therapy. A lot of, um, insurances will only pay for so much, but that's what the SSI will definitely help out with. So Ocean gets speech therapy in school. Um, I believe an hour, yeah, an, an hour. And um, I might go volunteer at a school as well. And so, but I feel like it's good to also do speech therapy outside of school so the child can get more. Um, so I feel like you definitely need more than that one hour a week that they get in school or wherever. Um, rule number four, um, kids, you know, with any type of learning disability, they're already frustrated. They're already irritated. Try to make learning fun. So I try to look up things, you know, to help him have fun while he's learning, you know, card games, um, you know, not only flashcards, but like, you know, get a block and, you know, paste words on the block and kind of roll the block and he has to say what the word is, things like that. So just different type of fun games that your child can do to help, you know, them learn as well. Um, do I have any other rules? I don't think so. I think that's it. Um, so I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, cause like I said, I know it can be hard, uh, with children to have a speech delay, whether, um, it's severe or, you know, mild or whichever, but I just wanted to let you guys know about some things that, you know, maybe you didn't know about and hopefully it helps them. That is all. Thanks.